You are welcome to join Newton online class. In this class, we are going to tackle a question from gas law. That is a topic in physics. Then recall that in gas laws, we have uh, three physical quantities used in that gas laws. This is the temperature, pressure, and volume. And we have various ga different gas laws. That the Boyle's law, which has to do with pressure and volume variation at constant uh, uh, temperature. Then we have uh, the Charles law, which has to do with uh, volume and temperature variation at constant pressure. We probably have the Gelusa's law, which has to do with uh, pressure and temperature variation at constant volume. So, but we are not stating the laws here because we are facing calculation. Then we still have general gas equation, general gas equation, which has to do with a combination of formula of the laws. That is a situation in which none of the three physical quantities is kept constant. When the three quantities vary, I mean the pressure, temperature, and volume, we now use general gas word equation. So let's read the question on the board. The question says that a mass of gas at 7 degrees Celsius and 70 centimeters of mercury has a volume of 800 centimeters cube. Then we are expected to determine its volume at 27 degrees Celsius and 100 centimeters of mercury. Then you should be mindful of this formula, that is the unit of these quantities. This 7 degrees Celsius stands for the temperature. Then 70 centimeters of mercury stands for pressure. Then 800 centimeter cube stands for volume. Likewise, these ones. Now, looking at this, we are given that the T, or initial temperature, is 7 degrees Celsius. But you are not going to work with Celsius. When they give you the temperature in degrees Celsius, when you are working gas law, you quickly convert to Kelvin. And you remember that 0 degree Celsius is equivalent to 273 Kelvin. That 273 Kelvin. So you just add it up to whatever you have in Celsius and you get the quantity or the value in what? Kelvin. So we have this. We have 7 plus 273 Kelvin. And that will give us... Um, 280 Kelvin, right? So our our P1, that's the initial pressure. Our initial pressure is 70 centimeter of mercury. Why our initial volume of the gas is equal to 800 centimeter cube? This one's you don't need any conversion. Then we are now given that our T2, the final temperature is 27 degree Celsius. We do the same thing, we convert to Kelvin, giving us 27 plus 273. That is equal to 300 Kelvin. Not degree Kelvin, just Kelvin. Okay, then we go to the pressure. We are given that our P2 is equal to 100 centimeter of mercury. That's our final pressure, wow. Okay, then we are not expected to find the final volume. V2 is our task here. We are looking for final volume. Okay, looking at these parameters or the quantities, the physical quantities, you see that the three quantities vary. So there is no one that is kept constant. In this situation, we are going to use general gas equation. Good. And that equation, using general gas equation, using general gas equation equation we have that he said that p1 v1 all over t1 is equal to p2 v2 all over t2 this is general gas equation so quickly we make let us make v2 so that of the formula directly we have that v2 will now be equal to when you cross multiply this p1 v1 this will go up here T2 all over this one will come down all over T1 P2 mathematically. Then we substitute. When you substitute now, we have our P1 is 70 times our V1 is 800 times our T2 is 300 now. All over our T1 is 280 times our P2 is 100. So we walk, we simplify. 
Therefore, simplifying, we have zero cancel, uh, we have zero cancel, uh, zero, zero cancel, zero, remaining three here. Coming to this, we have zero cancel, zero, seven cancel instead of one, seven divided by 28, we have four. Quickly, four cancel itself one, four divide 800, you have 200. So we are left with 203 at the numerator level, then one only at the base level. So we have 200 times three, which is simply 600. So our final volume is 600 centimeter cube. Remember the unit, very important in physics calculations. So you can see that our answer to this question, the final volume is what? 600 centimeter cube. You can now tackle similar questions in physics concerning gas laws, especially general gas equation. In subsequent classes, we are going to look into the gas laws, the questions that involve Charles law, Boyle's law, and then even um, STP, that is standard temperature and pressure case, which we also apply this to it. Thank you for paying attention to this particular class. For more of this calculation or solutions in physics and mathematics, to enjoy that with me, visit my YouTube channel at Joe Newton Online Class. Also follow me on Facebook page, even Instagram and TikTok, all at Joe Newton Online Class. Don't forget to subscribe on YouTube, so you'll be getting notifications.